During her interview with Tucker Carlson last week, Marjorie Taylor Greene actually suggested that Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson, Republican Speaker Mike Johnson on her side, um, is somehow being blackmailed into changing who he is as a person. And that of course is why Marjorie Taylor Greene, who returns to Washington DC today, along with the rest of them, uh, wants to remove him from the speakership just a few months before the election. And that move is definitely going to hurt Republicans and they know it, but Greene is not going to back down because she wants to know who these mysterious forces are that have somehow blackmailed the Republican speaker of the house. Here's what she told Carlson. Mike Johnson has completely changed his character in a matter of about five months after he's become speaker of the house. Mike Johnson has made a complete departure of, of who he is and what he stands for. And to the point where people are literally asking, is he blackmailed? What is wrong with him? Because he's completely disconnected with what we want. So then Tucker actually asked like, do, do you think he's being blackmailed? And she says, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm just putting it out there because people are saying it looks like he's being blackmailed, right? Marge, who, who are these people? Like you said, people are asking, is he being blackmailed? And for the record, no, they're not. Okay. A couple of yahoos who may have put that on social media. Those don't count as, you know, people want to know. That's a couple of wackos saying wacko things. You're saying that you're bringing up like, well, people are asking, no, 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 they're not. You said that because you're trying to suggest that he is somehow being blackmailed into, into what? Not shutting down the federal government during an election year, because that's what you're pissed off about. You wanted the government to shut down. You have made that extremely clear. You have literally said that. And Johnson didn't do it because Johnson is not a complete moron, whereas you are, but Johnson has not changed who he is. He is still the conservative extremist that he always was. It's just that he understands, okay, now I'm in a position. I got to be a little bit more responsible because everything falls on me. And it's probably not smart to have a full blown government shutdown seven months before a, before an election, before a presidential election. We don't want the Republicans to suffer in that election. So I'm not going to shut down the government. That's all Mike Johnson did, but that was enough to send Marjorie Taylor Greene over the edge, not just to the point where she wants to vacate it, but now she's at the point where she's openly spreading these conspiracy theories that he's somehow being blackmailed by who, who would blackmail him? Who could have the power to blackmail him? And blackmail him into doing what? Not agreeing with you? None of this makes any sense because it's not supposed to make sense. The only person it makes sense to is Marjorie Taylor Greene. See Marjorie Taylor Greene, as I said, very dumb. Okay. She doesn't understand that not every Republican in this country is in a deep red district like she is, and they're going to win reelection no matter what. Okay. You got other Republicans out here that are in swing districts. You've got Republicans that are in only R plus one districts where they could easily lose. They have to be smarter. They have to keep the government running. They have to do things or else their voters will punish them. Your voters Marge will not, but you can't understand such a very simple concept. It confuses you. It scares you. So to cope with that, to cope with your own inadequacies, you launch conspiracy theories as a way to help you deal with a world that confuses and scares you. That's why Marjorie Taylor Greene is saying this, not because she has inside information that he's being blackmailed, but because she's not smart enough to figure out why Mike Johnson is trying to be somewhat responsible.